Hello, in this video, I'm going to take you through the topics that we will be covering in this series of videos on sets. So the first topic would be to give you a quick introduction about the background of sets and what is the history of set and how it has come into the form that you will see and learn today. Then I will give a mathematical definition of set and we'll study some of the examples and we'll also look at some of the special sets that you will find times and again in the discussions on other mathematical topics as well as discussion on sets to follow. Then we will look at the mathematical representations of sets. How do we mathematically represent the sets? Specifically, we will study two forms of representation, the roster form and the set builder form. After that, we will look at some more set definitions. For example, when you look at the numbers, you first learn the numbers from 1 to 9 and then you also define a number 0 and then you may even define different types of numbers like rational numbers and so on. Similarly, in sets, once you understand what a set is, we also need to look at some more definitions of sets. For example, what do we mean by an empty set? What is a finite set? What do we mean by an infinite set? What is a power set and what is a universal set? And many of these are very intuitive. I mean, from just by looking at the name, you will understand what it probably means. But we'll just look at it. How do we represent them mathematically? Having discussed that, we will look at how can we compare sets? So when we compare two numbers, for example, uh, you are comparing two numbers, you know when those two numbers are equal, when they are giving you the same sense of quantity, that is when the two numbers are equal. How do we apply the concept of comparison to sets? That is what we will learn in comparing sets. Then we look at what do we mean by subsets. Then another interesting thing would be the study of Venn diagrams which help us to represent the sets or the relationship between sets in a visual way. Then when you learn numbers, you also learn operation on numbers uh, and the operations would be like addition, subtraction, division and multiplication. Similarly, we are going to look at what are the operations that can be done on sets and the operations that I will be covering would be the union of sets, intersection of sets, difference of sets and complement of set. And after discussing that, we will look at some practical problems which involve using the concepts of union as well as intersection of sets and these concepts will be pretty much helpful in other courses as well.